Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. Today I wanted to do a quick video on how to add slide in black bars to your uh, B-roll. Uh, this is uh, another video in my line of videos that are uh, instructional and meant for beginner um, video editors and um, hopefully this helps you. So uh, slide in black bars for B-roll are very popular on YouTube right now. Um, probably because of Peter McKinnon. And the good thing is that it's really easy in DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to do it right now. So I already have a clip open on my uh, timeline. I put in a Canada flag since we just had Canada Day. And so what you wanna do is make sure that you have your inspector open on the right hand screen here and um, go to your cropping uh, menu. If it's not open, double click on cropping. Okay, and so the two functions that we're going to be working with are the crop top and the crop bottom. Okay, so down on your clip, you're going to want to decide um, where you want the animation to start and where you want it to end. And this will be where the uh, bars stop, start to drop in on the clip and where it stops. So I'm going to just have mine animate from the beginning of the clip and then just I don't want it to go in too far um, so I will put in a keyframe here for crop top and crop bottom this is where the animation will start and then I'll move in here should be good enough for this purpose and then you can decide where you want the um, or how how big you want the uh, crop to be. There are a number of ways to um, calculate this. So this is mostly by preference, but I always just use um, 131.5 for oops 131.5 for both the top and the bottom crop. And that gives me uh, the, the look that I'm going for. So I basically have just made a note of 131.5 and 131.5. I find that this is a good cinematic ratio. So now when we go back to the beginning, here we are. And we'll just play that and you'll see that the black bars slide in. And if you want your slide in to happen faster, you can just um, add the second keyframe closer um, to where you started your edit. That's the easiest way to do it. Of course, you can go in to your clip and you can adjust your keyframe um, by sliding it back and forth just to, to get the timing of your slide the way you want it. Um, but otherwise, that's all it takes. Um, so I hope you found this beginner video helpful. And um, yeah, if you include it in your videos, I would love to see um, what you've done. All right, take care and we'll see you on the next one.